From success in our student government program to remembering a tragic event at our school, we have always been able to stay united as a community and support one another. Our reporters went out to find the best stories, and we have it all here for you on a special edition of WCAT. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, and welcome to the first ever virtual FSPA convention. Ocala is known for its sense of community and people who have created a bond like no other. If anybody can understand how impactful the support of a community can be, it's our school. What seemed like a normal morning three years ago today left our school and community in shock as the unthinkable happened. With today being April 20th, we will forever remember today as the day that forest changed. The community had a lasting impact on the situation. First two years, you could see that it still affected a majority of the school. Um, last year, especially with COVID cutting the year short, um, I think that the impact was lessened. And so um, I would say that in some ways, like the school has come together, but I think that the impact is actually fading and that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. In the brink of this event, we thought about each other and how it would affect us. We looked to each other for support because we felt as if no one understood. But from all over, people came to help us through this rough path. Um, when I came here my freshman year, I had already began to feel the sense of family that was here at Forest. And then the shooting happened that same year. And the three years following that I've been here, I've felt that the Forest community and the family has just grown stronger. I feel like there's more of an effort to make sure that our students are okay and we're checking in on each other with things like the rock and just little activities that we do. But I do feel like everyone puts in an effort to be there for each other, um, which has only grown over these past three years. It's the huge upswelling of support in the community for our students, for our faculty, for our staff. Um, being able to have that Forest Friday, the mayor officially declared it as Forest Friday. We encourage people throughout the, the community to wear green and actually spread around the country. We had people in multiple states that were supporting that to show these students that they weren't alone. With tragedy, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. We are still affected by it today, but it doesn't hit us as hard as it did because we've used the community and each other to heal. Even though this is only a memory in a fourth of our students' minds, it has an everlasting impact on all of us. We are one, we are strong, we are forest. This has been Haley Shuttle reporting for WCAT. Now back to the anchors. Having the support of Ocala meant a lot of getting through an event like that. It has had a lasting impact on our school and the support from the community hasn't stopped. I agree, it will always be something I'll remember. In some more positive news, our student government is focusing on some more uplifting aspects. This year was our SGA's first competition in FASC, the Florida Association of Student Councils, representing Forest at the district level. This year, our SGA here at Forest High School took a big step in the FASC, a leadership conference for student councils all around the state of Florida. Reagan Jones, representing Forest High School, ran for vice president, and this was not a one-person job. Our whole SGA worked together to help Reagan conquer her goals. So to prepare for FASC, we've been working on it since the very beginning of the year, and really since last year. We ran for the first time at FASC last year, and sadly we didn't win, but that just gave us really the like fuel and the energy to run again this year, and we were really prepared this time, so we had different committees and groups working on the website. Everyone was doing a little bit with their bios and all sorts of things like that for the content of the website. With a little bit of perseverance and teamwork, Force had a very successful campaign. This was something our SGA put a lot of thought into. We had been preparing this campaign over the course of the past few months. Our preparation influenced the results in a really positive way. We went into it wanting to be the 
biggest, the most noticeable, the best campaign out there. And so we worked really hard to make sure everything looked super professional with our website, first of all. And then with our social media, we made sure to keep it um, the very similar so that it had a nice theme along it so it looked really nice and we made all of our videos look as professional as possible and things like that and I think that really gave us the upper hand when it came to it because when other people were just filming their speeches and things on their phone we took the professional take on everything which was really really helpful. Social media had a huge impact on campaigning because first of all it was a platform we haven't really used for this kind of thing before or FASC hasn't used it for campaigning in general and so it was really um, a good way to kind of get into like the 21st century, you know, using those sources we have. Um, and it was a way for us to be able to get really creative. And also it's great because it helps us to connect with all of the students. Usually we get to meet everyone at FASC and have personal conversations and build relationships, but we couldn't do that this year over Zoom. So like DMing people and texting people was really the best way to connect and uh, find out what's going on all across Florida and help our campaign as well. We are so proud of Reagan Jones and our SGA for having such big goals. So congratulations to our new FASC Vice President. Congratulations to Reagan Jones for winning Vice President and representing Forrest. She put in so much effort into campaigning and it obviously paid off. It was a well-deserved win all around. Congratulations again to our Student Government Association. It's rewarding to see that our students are so involved in the communities, even outside of our own. I couldn't agree more. It's always important to stay involved and give back to the communities. After all, it does take a village. That's right. We are one. We are strong. We are forest.